Hey, it's Rick Kettner here. Let's talk about the most common marketing mistake that businesses make and what you can do to avoid or overcome it. This is tip number one in my 21 marketing tips from 21 years in the field video series. Now I wanna warn you up front, the idea here is really easy to dismiss because it's so obvious. And yet, it's an issue that comes up over and over again in business. It's a mistake made by startups, small businesses, and even large and well-established companies. Simply put, the most common marketing mistake is building a new product, service, or business without considering marketing right from the start. In many cases, teams end up launching a product with no clear marketing plan at all, or with a plan they threw together at the last minute to try to promote the product after it's fully built. This is a mistake that I've made countless times over the years, and it's one that I see other people making all the time. They work endlessly on crafting a new product or service, and then they launch it to the public, and nothing happens. It can be incredibly disheartening for everyone involved, and in some cases, it can even kill the project or result in it being permanently sidelined. Consider this quote from Traction by Gabriel Weinberg and Justin Mares. Almost every failed startup has a product. What failed startups don't have is enough customers. And again, this is an issue that affects more than just startups. It applies to anyone creating new products or services without a clear plan for attracting and converting customers. In my experience, there are three common reasons why this mistake is made. First, it's often more exciting to build the product itself than to market it, especially for small teams that are really passionate about what they're building. The creation process, while difficult at times, is often much more rewarding than early marketing efforts. Second, it's really easy to fall into the trap of thinking the product or service is so good that it'll just sell itself. We've all seen or heard of at least a few different products that have quickly taken off after launch. The ironic thing is that most of the time, this is the result of a very carefully crafted marketing strategy, but from the outside, it can look like the success was driven entirely by the product itself. And last but not least, Unfortunately, many product creators have a very negative perception of marketing in general. I believe this is due to the fact that it's so much easier to spot and recall examples of bad marketing that is cheesy, aggressive, or just cringy. Meanwhile, great marketing is often invisible to the average consumer, or it's so natural and authentic that it's not even correctly identified as being a marketing effort. And as I mentioned earlier, products that often appear to take off based on merit alone often do so because of a carefully executed marketing strategy. Now, when it comes to avoiding this mistake, the first thing that you can do is get up to speed when it comes to modern marketing or partner with someone who is as passionate about marketing as you are about product creation. In either case, the goal is simple. Always build marketing into the product plan right from the start. Now, of course, there's no one size fits all plan when it comes to launching a product or service, which is why it's so important to start early in the process so you have time to test marketing channels, adjust or adapt the product, and ensure that you have a winning offer. The number one priority should be testing marketing channels and locking down at least one viable channel with a clear plan for driving initial sales through that channel. With this in mind, I recommend that you pick up a copy of Traction by Gabriel Weinberg and Justin Mares. It covers 19 marketing channels that you can use to attract customers. And more importantly, it explains how to go about selecting the right channel for your product or service. The bullseye framework in the book guides you through brainstorming ideas, selecting promising channels, running inexpensive tests, and ultimately determining the best channel for you to focus on first. Of course, this is only tip number one in my 21 marketing tips from 21 years in the field video series. So naturally, I'm gonna be covering many more ideas for building a great marketing strategy in follow-up videos. But this book is a great place to start when it comes to attracting customers. And this brings up a very important point. If you're into marketing or business and you're not yet a reader, 
Now is the time to start. It's simply one of the best ways to learn from others. And between audiobooks and digital books on your phone, it's never been more convenient to get into reading than it is today. Anyway, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about the secret to marketing products or services to a massive audience of potential customers. It's a powerful concept that applies to selling everything from physical products to online or in-person services. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to get alerted when new videos launch. And if you'd like a PDF cheat sheet with all 21 marketing tips, visit 21marketingtips.com or click the link in the video description box below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.